there he goes. Ray, follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Bankman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. Oh. He gets so bossy when he hasn't had his nap. I know. We should still go get Slimer, though, Pete. Is that honey glazed ham and prime rib? <laughs> there. Maybe. The Alhambra ballroom. No way oh. he could pass that up. Yep. He went through Absolutely the ceiling. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah is set to start in half Wait. an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And Rodriguez? Quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. Rodriguez. That's all we to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Huh. Okay. Coffee. Coffee. Oh, Nobody slept. It's okay. Pete Venkman, twice. I've just about got it. Coffee pot's clear. Oh, hi, Pete. Where to now? Wait, Pete. Where are we going? Pete. What are you? Another one. Whew, that was close. I almost didn't see him. It's heavy. Sorry. I was couch in the way. You bring your apron? We're gonna take a little shortcut. No, I didn't bring my I don't have an apron. Jerk. Armor should be right through here. Hello, chef. Honey, bit, honey glazed ham. Oh. Okay, champion. You leave for a while. What the hell is that? Ooh. Like, don't touch the slime. It's Wait, what? slimy and Duh. extremely dangerous. Ugh. Oh my god. Black slime. Caustic seep. Encountered in locations of intersection between the real and ghost world. This dangerous substance formed of ectoplasm supersaturated with negative energy. Black slime is incredibly caustic and will cause severe damage to anyone heedless enough to come into contact with it. Based on its spectral resonance echo, black slime also appears to function as a conduit for PKE energy and could, if saturated with enough spiritual energy, conceivably act as a ghost portal. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. What's that sound? Whoa. A lot of knives sticking in the wall. Dad! You think I'd be used to that stuff by now? Gets it out of the way, at least. More knives. Get out of the way. No oh, crap. Nothing to worry about. Most kitchens have self-starting pilot lines. That hurt though. Something behind this. Something hiding, I think, is what that means. Hands up. Whoa. Where'd he go? Come on, you. we got? Pappy Sargassi. Uh, oh, he's a class three roaming animator. Descending from a long, proud line of seafarers and fishermen. <laughs> Makes sense. Pappy Sargassi attempted to avoid the notoriously unlikely early deaths of the, on the water that plagued his family by pursuing a more landlocked career. In 1950, he opened a restaurant, Sargassi's, and attempted to turn his back on the sea. In later years, he overcame his fear of the water and took up fishing. His family's curse caught up with him, or he was the unluckiest fisherman who ever lived, and he died choking on a fish stick while being eaten by a great white shark. Oh my. That's pretty awful. Okay, I get oh. you. Everything but the kitchen sink. What the hell? What the hell's that? What, do I have an upgrade? Oh, 
Oh, we can have a fast trap. Yes, I will take that. I'm familiar with most of the upgrades. Well, the ones we've had access to, because, you know, like I said, I recorded some of it earlier. Dead Fish Flyer. Uh, class 1 Inhabiting Swarmer. Dispersible. These minor spirits seem to have been subservient to a greater entity's will, and have been driven to protect it by possessing and controlling a variety of fish market castoffs. Like other Class 1 Swarmers, Dead Fish Flyers are quick-moving but fairly weak creatures that, once disrupted, quickly fade back into the depths of the ghost world. Oh, good. So, we can just shoot them. And they turn back into fishies. Ha! They're gonna get me! This is why I eat out of a can. I hear ya. Oh. Alright, check this out. The trap you've gotta the grab them, grab them, you use the other half of the proton one, the capture stream. That's all there is to it. You just throw this junk anywhere. Works for me. Is there a... Oh, that's back where we came from. Oops, there's a... Nope, it's dead over here. <laughs> Get it? Dead. On the PK, you'll turn blue if there's something interesting. Ooh, what's it? <gasps> it's a marshmallow man. A model of Stay Puft just can't seem to stay in one place. 1989, a Ghostbusters craze broke through throughout New York City following the Vigo incident of 89. Souvenir street vendors moved literal tons of unlicensed clothing and cheap knockoff novelties. It's estimated that the Stay Puft figures outsold the usually best-selling Statue of Liberty by more than two to one that year. Even the new wind-up walking version of Libby... <laughs> The trend faded almost as quickly as it began, and sales of Ghostbusters merchandise dwindled. Some remainders can still be found on the streets of Manhattan and the boroughs, and may even be imbued with supernatural and t elements. Cool. I don't think I ever found that one before. Generator. Ooh. Turkey. You don't belong on the wall. You're a turkey. It's really scary in purse first view. Could be anything. <gasps> Donuts! Donuts! Freezer? Generator room. Hmm. Uh, Pete? Pete! Where'd you go? At a... Ooh, donuts! Grr. That's fun. You'll never know how fun that is. Well, unless you have the game, then, I mean, you'd know. Oh, sorry, Pete. Donut emergency. I got a doll. He's really cool, though. You know, I mm. thought that guy said Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah. Rodriguez? Bar Mitzvah? What? Cake! Would it kill him to mix in a green salad once in a while? I'm gonna take back him. He's already Blast dead. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture stream on him. So he's drinking again. Let's see if he goes back to the cake. <laughs> Dude! That's fantastic. Get the watermelon. That's great! Err. Take that to Oh right, there's a ghost. Where'd he go? Oh, he's hiding. Get out of there, little turd. Oh, that's not good. That's... We're gonna get dinged good, for that. Good, good. That's it, buddy. You've got the little monster breathing hard. Yeah, you always want to vent automat or on your own. You don't want to have to not be able to shoot for a couple seconds. Oh, and the ceiling. There you go. There he is. Oh, 
Almost got him. Almost got him. You gotta wear him down. When he's tired, you'll be able to put his sorry crater of a butt into a trap. In you go, round boy. Come on, come on. Back in your box. Yeah. Good boy. Perfect. See? That's a big wow. I don't teach that pitiful goop sack to slime, Pete Vengman. And by extension... I like how he says that. Oh, we... Perhaps oh, a place that's... that disturbed. Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. Right on. The ballroom. The bomb mitzvah. What have you done? Well, it's fine. It's fifteen minutes. A little lemon seems pledge. To be your problem. Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So it's, uh, you're welcome, huh? It's postmodern uh, deconstructionism. Rodriguez, from the Ghostbusters. Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs>